following, among others, can be identified. One, polarized politics. Our political actors are entrenched in their positions, barely or hardly ever agree on anything, dispute everything said by the opponent, undermine each other, and will do everything it takes to destroy political opponents. Indeed, the diction of political actors is one that calls for worry. Often, political actors don't call each other partners, nor do they even call each other political opponents. They use the harsh word, enemies, our political enemies. Enemies are designed not to be friended with. Enemies ultimately are to be destroyed or demolished even when one has a cap capability or capacity. The diction in our politics demonstrates the entrenched, the entrenched position of our politics, and it probably is one of the most one of the most dangerous aspects of our politics that threatens the very stability of the Fourth Republic. Political actors see each other as enemies, and this enmity threatens to destroy the very fabric of our politics. Our political environment is therefore charged to the hilt and is threatening to explode. The polarized character of our politics threatens and undermines everything called stability as far as our democracy is concerned. And it explains why political actors on different sides of the divide are very happy to destroy each other as much as they can. It explains why there's hardly any truth in our political fabric, and it explains why even common sense has been politicized. Truth is only truth when spoken by a political colleague, not your opponent. Thank <music> you.